AWS supports multi-factor authentication for IAM users, which means that you can enable not only a username and password when they log in, you can also ask them to enter some number or a code when they log in, which is time sensitive. This allows you to prevent any password hacks. So even if a fraudster happened to get access to your username and password, they still need to have access to your multi-factor authentication device to access AWS. So let's now go there and then learn how to enable multi-factor authentication for IAM users. You can also assign a multi-factor authentication device. So let's create a MFA device. So here you can select like what kind of multi-factor authentication device you want to assign for. Here you can see, uh, uh, let's go for virtual MFA device and then click continue. This will give you a QR code that you can use with Google authentication app to log in into. So what I do is that once I enable this, let's uh, scan this one in my Google authentication app. And then I need to enter the number that Google authentication app generate in these two places. So it created a uh, ID. So what I need to do now is to uh, enter those IDs. So what I did was uh, I have an iPhone, which I went and then installed this Google Authenticator app. And then I turned the camera on and then scanned this barcode and it then uh, saved this special number. So it changes time to time as uh, it is a time sensitive uh, password or the code that you get. So I'm going to enter that code and I need to wait a few seconds until the next code is generated. And what I'll do is uh, once that code is generated, I'm going to enter the second code that it generated. So a few more seconds and uh, it generated a new code. So the new code is 412302. So that way I can now assign the multi-factor authentication device and when I try to log in next time, it will pop for MFA authentication. So let's check that how it works. Let's sign out from this user, log into the console, and then sign in. And now it pops out for MFA authentication code. So you can see that because we enable MFA, now it pops for this MFA code. So let's enter that code. 617-610 at this time of the submission. And you can see that I now got logged in. It's always recommended that you enable MFA authentication for users so that you can make sure that the password compromise is not going to happen in your account. Although we will not go into details around AWS permissions in this tutorial, Remember that there's an option to limit or grant access to AWS services based on a condition where you want to satisfy that the user authenticated using a multi-factor authentication device. So how you do this one is that you use uh, in the permission, you specify that uh, this multi-factor auth percent true so all these service access are allowed only if the user is logged in with the multi-factor authentication. Although we will not go into details around creating advanced IAM permissions, in another video that is given under the description of this video, you will find how to go into advanced configurations of permissions to allow this kind of customization. If you go into the security code, let's say the user lost the device, as a root account administrator who has the more permission on this account can always log in and then click manage. And then you can remove this uh, MFA authentication so that if you want to assign a new device, you can always go there and then manage and assign a code again. Now let's say you assign an MFA device and the user lost the MFA device and you as the administrator also lost access to the AWS account. Maybe you also had an MFA device and there's some flooding and both of you lost the device that you had. 
So how can you log in into the account or how you can recover the AWS again? Your only option is to contact AWS support and then tell your story. You of course need to provide uh, different identities to make sure that you are the uh, truthful owner of the account, but you can still get access to the account after going through a very strong validation process.